exciting episode of Prestigious Fact Show. It is almost the end of the year, and I know every one of you is excited that the year is coming to an end. It's also time for you to think about what you're going to do. Time to reevaluate yourself and ask yourself, what am I going to do in the year 2014? This brings us to our next topic for this month. Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself is a topic that is very difficult to accept. Like the saying goes, telling the truth can be hard, but you can change your life and have unbelievable results when you work hard to start becoming true to yourself. Being true to yourself, what does that really mean to you? It means knowing what you want, finding freedom from an internalized self, defeating norms and chaos beliefs, liberation to exploit the world around you, loving yourself and others more truthfully, speaking your mind with authority and not deceiving yourself, saying no to things that do not serve you even when it is easier to say yes, know what to stand for so you can stand by yourself and believe. These are the places we need to be true to ourselves. In our career goals, in our relationship with self, friends, siblings and partners. How can we be true to ourselves? By identifying our strengths and staying focused. Staying positive and knowing what you want to do. Knowing that we are human with limited abilities, in reality, don't worry too much about making mistakes. Admit and take responsibility for your mistakes and actions. Be in the moment, be mindful. Don't forget to laugh. It is very important. What happens when you're true to yourself? When you're true to yourself, you know what you want. When you're true to yourself, you will find freedom from that internalized self-imprisonment you have put yourself in and be happier. When you're true to yourself, you will find freedom of liberation that will make you explore the world and love everyone that comes your way. When you're not true to yourself, you try to live someone else's life. And that is not only physically and mentally draining, it also reinforces the belief that you are not good enough. When you're not true to yourself, you will not be able to build self-confidence and self-respect. When you're not true to yourself, you are put in a precarious and insecure position. When you're not true to yourself, you live a life of hypocrisy, lies, deception, is that what you really want? For example, in career choices, most people live into what they do not like. Just because they saw Mr. A or Mr. B is doing that particular job, they also want to do the same job. They are doing it not because they really like it, but because they know that there is more money in that job. To me, this is deception because at the end, the interest and passion is not really there. They end up getting frustrated in their job and in life generally. So it is important for us to be true to ourselves in our career goals and in whatever we do in life. You are able to find a genuine source of happiness that cannot be taken away. You are able to discover that courageous person in you it allows your unique and creative talent to shine. You attract people, friends, loved ones, co-workers, employers who appreciate the real you. You are able to celebrate success that is truly yours. Your intuition is improved and enhanced. Waste less time worrying about what others think. Understand your feeling 
doing what makes you think. A more sincere and magnetic person emerges. You are able to celebrate success that is truly yours. Your intuition improved and enhanced. Waste less time worrying about what other things. Understanding your feelings, knowing what makes you think. A more sincere and magnetic person emerges. You are able to accept personal flaws and mistakes. You are more gentle towards yourself. You are able to respond to difficult situations more effectively. You are capable of following through and reaching your goals. It is true that you and you alone will face the consequences of most of your deceptive actions. But the fact remains that it will also impact your loved one and others around you. Know that most of the consequences of your action will last a lifetime. Even though it may be invisible to the world, it will still be visible enough for you today. Everyone loves freedom and liberty. When you are free, you are happier and you spread your happiness to the rest of the world. In conclusion, remember that true bliss, happiness and peace are only possible when you are real and true to yourself. Quote for the day, be true to yourself and be less concerned with what others think about you. Don't accept their definition of you that grow into a self-definition of your own. Kishore Bansel I just want to thank my audience for their continuous faithful follow-up of this show. Your feedback will be highly appreciated. I want to thank my crew members that helped to organize this episode. Thank you very much. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and our website is at, you can visit our website, prestigiousfittings.com. Thank you.